Um, through fourth grade uh, to sixth grade, well, I was about nine and eight, and I was in second and third grade. In fourth grade, they cut my hair in middle class. They put glue in my hair. They generally just didn't like me. Everyone, they called me names. They, um, no one would talk to me. And they would call me a demon and a blood-sucking freak. Bunny and Jesse were walking and talking to the bus stop and he tried grabbing my hand. Why don't you just hold his hand? Because I heard rumors he likes Britney. Check it out. <laughs> Where'd you get her clothes? Good to know. Hey guys, check it out. <laughs> that hair color isn't helping. Like mom. They told me I was worthless. They told me um, that there was no use for me. I was going to um, infiltrate their space with my uh, uselessness. One time, someone pushed me over into the mud while I was playing basketball. And I tried to play it off like I did it myself, but I didn't want anyone to know that they did it. Showing a little shoulder, huh, skank? She'll never have a boyfriend. Yeah, she's so All right, everybody, face. quiet down. Get your books out. Let's go. I believed I was really a bad person. I believed that I was worthless. I believed I was useless. And it just really messed with like my self-esteem and it kind of impacted on seventh grade. I swear we're the only ones who post anything good on here. I know, right? Totally. Hey, speaking of which... Selfie! Hey guys, I have a better idea. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> that was so rude. I know, should we do something? I took it out on myself. Um, I had self-harmed for uh, <clears throat> for three years. Um, I would use whatever I could find. I used needles, I used a knife, I used a box cutter, I used whatever I could get my hands on. It's so mean. Oh, it's terrible. Lucy!
Lucy, are you all right? Please, just go away. Um, my mom found me. I was, I was in tears and I told her everything and um, we talked, we uh, threw away the razor that I was using and, um, and it, it, we even went and got like a journal to talk out how I felt, what things I could do better throughout the day, what I could have done better and try to do it that the next day. I had to do tons and tons of counseling and everyone, they, one of my friends tried to stage an intervention but it didn't work out too good because no one came, but still. Um, I like food, but that helps a lot. <laughs> Bullying is not a new epidemic, but it is an epidemic nonetheless. It pervades our school and our community. Sometimes when we are victims of bullying, we feel like it is our fault, that we are the ones with the problem. Sometimes you feel helpless in your abuse. You may even feel that the only way out of this abuse is to self-harm. This is not the case. There is hope. There are those who listen and act for you. You simply need to tell someone. This person can be someone like a parent or a relative. They can be a principal, teacher, or a staff member. No matter how scared you might be, find a trusted adult you talk to, and that person will help you through your abuse. They will do all they can to help you solve any issues you have with bullying. Likewise, when we see bullying, we might feel like it's not our problem, but we shouldn't interfere. This is false. If you witness bullying, you can't just stand by and do nothing. As a community, we are obligated to help each other pursue happiness. We must stop abuse when we can. I know what you're thinking. It's difficult to get involved, but there are ways to help even if you're afraid. 
Sometimes when we are victims of bullying, we feel like it is our fault, that we are the ones with the problem. Bullying is not a statement about the victim. It is an indictment of the bully. By reporting bullying, you are not only helping the victim, but you are getting help for the bully as well. We can no longer sit by and do nothing when we are being bullied or when we see bullying. Stop the trend. Stop the trend. Stop the trend. Stop the trend. Help defend.